Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. We are nowhere near home and there is a very good reason for that. It is because we are getting ourselves a horse. Now in the last episode, not the last episode, in between episodes, I managed to find myself some saddles and we've got some horses here. I've found some horses nearer to home, but I don't know whether I'm too keen on them. This guy doesn't seem to have a huge amount of health. Um, so, we're, I mean, we're going to tame all of them anyway. I should have brought some leads. Should have brought some leads because then I could have just brought them all back. Instead, we're just going to have to try and grab one who's a good one. Right, this guy loves us. This guy loves us. Let's put the saddle on him. Let's give him a little test. He is bad health, very slow. Um, I feel like the only use this guy has is glue. Right, next up, this guy. I mean, they all look the same. He's got a little bit more health. Okay, that's good. Actually, this guy's very spotty. He's a spotty horse. He loves me already. Good. Right, what's his speed like? That seems fast. He seems pretty quick. I might not even bother the other one. If he can jump reasonably high. Let's do a little... Let's set ourselves a little test. Hold on. Hold on. Get off the horse. I need to remember how horses work. Right, let's just grab some of these things. And build ourselves a little uh, horse trial. Here we go. So, we've got three tests. He should pass this one easily. A double. Double high. Not a problem. Right. Triple high. How are you going to do on that? I don't think you're going to make a triple high. Okay, so the optimism of the four high one. Pretty optimistic. Not going to make it. But, let me just... I mean, that's, that's not how it works. To be honest, I think this is the guy, isn't he? This is the guy. We've got ourselves a horse. His name is non-existent. Or her name. I don't know. Can't really tell in this game. Um, I'm going to think of a name at some point. We do have ourselves some uh, name tags as well, so there's zombies nearby. Zombies? Hello? Hello? Where are you? I can hear you. I don't know. Right, we're going to have to head home, which is over this way. I seriously hope it's over this way. Now, there is a very good reason why I've gone and got myself a horse. And that is because the Iron Golem farm, as we all know by now... Um, it's too close to have a portal nearby, so the only way to get there is by travelling ourselves. And it's a long way to travel, so let's try and cut the time down by travelling by horse. Oh god, what happened there? I just fe I fell in a hole. I fell in a hole. I think we're okay. I think we're fine. Right, let's keep going. I'm almost back at uh, the village. This was the first set of horses. I haven't tried any of those. I'm not quite sure. If they're any good, I'm assuming probably not. So, obviously, last episode, we were building the big storage warehouse, which is now almost finished. Don't drown, horse. Don't drown, horse. Um, It's almost finished. There's still stuff that needs to be done, but the most of it is now complete. But we're not going to go there just yet. We're going to head to the Iron Golem farm, because there's something I found out which is really annoying. So, it turns out there's a couple of points on the journey that uh, might knock you out a little bit. Only a small amount. Not a huge amount. You just hit your head a couple of times. I'm fine. I've only lost half my health. Right, Iron Golem Farm. We all know the Iron Golem Farm. We've been here a few times before. Remember how I spent a long, long time building a train line to get villagers over to here? Well, there's a village really close. Really close. Horse, you stay there. We need you to stay still, because we're going to go away, but not very far, but you can't come with us. Right, what we will do is we will stand literally here, in line, and just go in this general direction. And it's it's not even far away at all. It's so close. There you go. There, there, is, there is a village right there. There is a village right here. I haven't really been inside it either, but I know there are villagers about. I think they might even have an iron golem. But it's it's right here. It's so close. So I mean, you can't see it, but it's just over that way. I spent a good number of hours. A good number of hours transporting villagers. And I could have just got in a boat and headed in the opposite direction and found just a big pile of villagers. Look at them all. Just mocking me. Just mocking me because they know that they could be living in captivity now, just breeding indefinitely, making iron golems. But no, they're out here, free range villagers. Doesn't actually seem to be a huge amount of things in this village, which, which is fine. Maybe this could be a little project where we kind of expand this village 
to be a lot more useful. See, they're getting iron golems. Those guys exist over here. Anyway, we're going to head back to the home, and uh, I'm going to show you what I've done. It's going to take a long time to get back, because we need to boat first and then horse. Right, we're going to race the sun. We're going to race the sun back. I think it's going to be dark by the time we get home, but I don't think it's going to be too dark. Okay, I think I was massively optimistic, because it's already night time, isn't it? The moon is rising. We are not even halfway there. That's one part where you hit your head. And that's the other part. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly jump into bed. Make the night pass. There you go. There's a little glimpse. A little glimpse of what has been happening so far. But we will have a proper look in the morning. First thing to mention, this room is now empty. Yes, this one isn't. There's still, all, obviously, all the boxes are still there. This box is still there. It's still a mess. I need to move a lot of things over. But the bedroom bit is empty. Still not really a bedroom, though. Right, let's take a look outside at what I've done. Made myself a path. I've got a path going all over the place. We'll come to that in a minute. But this is kind of the main thing, isn't it? It's it's big. It's very big. It's bigger than the house. Like, probably twice the size of the house. Kind of makes the house look a little bit... Um, not as exciting anymore. Anyway, we head inside. I've done most of the floor. I've not done all of the floor. There's a lot of stuff to do. Um, yeah, we've got stone, we've got ourselves mud. In this one is going to be wool, which we don't technically have any. Nether stuff, glass stuff. Then we've got wood. All of this down here is going to be the different types of wood. I might change these icons to be the saplings, but for now, they can stay as the logs. In here, we've got iron, we've got nothing, we've got nothing, but that's going to be diamond, emeralds, and gold, maybe? I'm not quite sure. Um... As we come all the way down here, as you can see, the floor's not done this far. I think some of these barrels I put things in. I can never remember which ones. This one. This one is our rail and saddle barrel with grass block. Um, there's stuff... I mean, this It's a mess. It's still a mess, okay? Leave me alone. Upstairs is empty. It, it's empty. I've got some nice little supporting beams. I might need to extend that one up into the roof. Just to make sure everything looks like it's supported. And then we have this ladder going up even further to a room of nothing. There's nothing in here yet. There's not even windows. I probably will put windows in here. But for now, I don't know what to use that for. So it's just going to stay empty. I've also done a little bit of terraforming. This pond has been changed. It might just disappear, disappear completely by the end of this episode. Um, also, as you can see, the path. I've made a nice little path here. And that's because I want to try and be a little bit more decorative. I've done some terraforming. This used to be the horrible square thing with the staircase going down there, which now no longer exists. You have a little path going down. And I've decorated my mine. I don't really know why. I don't know if it looks any good. What I've kind of gone for, we've just got some uh, bamboo scaffolding in places because it looks somewhat like a building site. Um, chest here, which will be filled with pickaxes, basically. A load of coal because it's a mine. That's, that's decorative. They'll probably end up getting taken away at some point because I'm going to need coal, aren't I? Um, again, minecart with a chest in, bit of rail because it's a mine and it's decorative. Put this down here thinking, oh, maybe this is where the miners will come up and just dunk their tools in there. Give them a little wash. Um, in the mine, nothing's changed. Don't worry about that. So, yeah, that's what I've currently done. Now, the plan for today's episode, that's right, we've not really started today's episode. We spent 10 minutes or so just wandering around. But the plan is we are going to do some stuff with the cows, the sheep, the various food farms. Probably not that. We'll leave that for now. But we'll come back to that and try and make it a little bit more, I don't know, a bit more realistic. Because at the moment, these are very, they're, they're fit for purpose, but they don't look very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all of these. And then I'm going to start rebuilding some farms. And they're going to have little farmhouses. So I might have like a... A little beetroot farmhouse, a uh, carrot farmhouse, potato farmhouse, all sorts of things. I don't really know. I've not really planned what I'm going to do. I'm just going to kind of wing it. And uh, when we return, you'll see probably what I've started. Because I'm going to have to just take all of this down first, which is going to take a little bit of time. Right, we're back. Now, what I have done. It doesn't look like much, actually. You can barely see what I've done. Um, I've taken down the trees. They've all gone. Is it? It's almost night time. I'm going to quickly rush around and show you this. So I've planned out some buildings. I've done a bit of terraforming as well. But basically, what we're going to have... This is going to be a little building. And then there's going to be a farm. 
of carrots and potatoes in this area. I'm not sure how the farm's going to look just yet. There's going to be a little path coming down here. Then if we run over here very quickly, we have another building. In here will be the sugar cane, which is why we have the pond. I'm going to sort this out so it's as productive as we can possibly be for the sugar cane in the pond. But that is the plan for that building. I'm going to run back to the house quickly. Yep, I'm going to run back to the house, jump into bed. Right, where were we? Sugar cane. That was the last one we did. So yeah, sugar cane will be in there. Then if we head this way, there'll be a little pathway down here. And then we have another little farm, which is going to be in the back here. And in this one will be, stop doing the double click, melons and pumpkins. Again, not sure how they're going to work in this area, but we're going to make it work. And I'm going to try and make it look good. It's not just going to be functional. It's also going to look good. That's the plan. And then we head back up here. And the final farm that I've planned out at the moment, the entrance is on the side here, it might change. Um, in here will be beetroot. So yeah, the plan is we're going to have lots and lots of little farm buildings and lots of little farms. I'm also thinking we're going to have a big central area. This is not going to be this episode. We're going to have a huge central area here where these animals are not going to live. They're going to move, but something needs to live there. We've also got this little uh, pond here which I'm thinking I might build like a little fishing hut down here and then potentially try and get some villagers to live inside my little compound and then we can actually trade with people as well. And once this is more populated with people, it should be safer because there's going to be a lot more lights about so we're not going to have things spawning overnight and stuff like that because at the moment there are no torches basically other than on the buildings and on the sheep pen and the cow pen that there's no there's no torches anywhere over here so constantly at night time this just gets filled up with animals i've also got rid of the farms here in case you haven't realized they've gone this one's slowly going not touching the wheat one just yet i'm not sure what we're going to do with the wheat one i might make something quite elaborate for the wheat one which will be again possibly off camera between episodes maybe the wheat one because that's going to be quite a big job but yeah what i'm going to do next shut up cows i'm going to work on possibly this building here I'm going to build the building, we're going to come back, I'm going to show you what I've done, and then I'll build the other ones as well, off camera, and then we'll return and we'll see everything built, all grown, looking lovely, looking fancy, and then yeah, we'll have ourselves a nice little farming village as well, with no villagers, just yet. Okay, we are back, and I have built the first little farm, I think it looks quite nice, it looks quite quaint, I've obviously built the uh, the pathway down it's continued on we've got a nice little staircase going down nice little building i didn't want to do anything fancy but i wanted it to look kind of a bit like a village but also a little bit more detailed because i find the actual minecraft villages they're not massively detailed so yeah we've got this little house here it's done very similar to the big warehouse barn thing that we've got so the roof is very similar even with the little peaks at the top which we have on the uh, the peaks of the roof on the big building as well so yeah we've got that obviously i've done some little little bits of detail so you've got the lantern there you've got some uh, some leaves a little pot plant we go inside i've actually decorated inside which is something that i very rarely do we've got ourselves a cauldron with some water in because it's a sink i assume we have a picture frame with some wheat in because whoever lives here loves wheat apparently but they weren't good enough to be a wheat farmer they had to actually grow potatoes and carrots um just some diorite because i don't use a lot of diorite so i thought we'll just use it for the floor there was no pattern to this although it looks like i might have intentionally made like a pathway of the polished ones but no i haven't done that um obviously there's a bed there a little bedside table with a flower pot and then above there's a chest and a workbench as well so yeah it's nice and nice and livable it's very small in here. I feel like I could get more stuff in here as well. I'm not going to try. But yeah, that's what we've got. And then once we go through the door, we have the two little fields. So on the left-hand side, the much bigger field is the potato field. And then obviously over here, we do have the carrot field. I've got some leaves for a bit of decoration as well. And you'll notice there's no water anywhere it's because I've been clever. So underneath here, that's where we have some water. Also... The same thing is underneath that one. There's also over here, possibly underneath this block, might be a half slab of water. Same again over here and again over here. So I've hidden the water, which I think is quite good because I don't really like having water on display if I can help it. And also, forgot this as well, we've got one of the old uh, composters and a chest there, which is basically going to be the storage chest for anything that is uh, farmed. And yeah, the idea 
is I'm going to get myself a villager and they're going to work in here. That's going to be their workstation. They're going to go around, farm up all the potatoes and carrots. Probably need to stop them from leaving. I don't know the best way of doing that. Might just possibly just brick them in. I don't know. What have we got? Yeah, might just put some dirt in front of the door for now so they can't actually get out. And then we've got a little gate here which leads into what will eventually become the sugarcane farm. Some other changes as well that I have done. I mean, obviously you can see we've now got this wall up here, which is andesite and cobblestone. This might change. I'm not 100% set on this. Um, I think it looks quite nice with the, the differences, with the variances, but I'm not sure whether cobblestone is the right stone to go for. Maybe we just go smooth stone, similar to what we've got on there and also on the house as well. I've also used some netherrack to plan out the other buildings because I only drew little squares basically for the original buildings. I've now planned out slightly bigger buildings, all slightly different shapes. So you're going to have this one here, which is actually pretty sizable compared to that one. Probably double the size, so it might change in size as well. And then, yep, as I mentioned, sugarcane farm over there. Got a new building planned here. Not sure what it's going to be yet, but there's just a building. And then if we head down here, I've extended this slightly. So what you're actually going to have, if we quickly come over here, it overlooks the water, which I think might be a quite, quite a nice little view. And then finally the beetroot one up here as well, which I've extended to be slightly longer. Have realised that this wall needs to come down. Whether it's the whole wall or whether it's just this part of the wall, it's going to need to come down. Is that a raid? That's a raid over there. That's another raid. Right, quickly, it's almost bedtime. Right, we're going to grab some milk. Going to grab a sword. We're going to deal with that in the morning. I have killed so many of these raids, so many of them, it's it's not even funny. I don't even know where they're coming from, but there's just so many of them constantly happening. Come here, buddy. I've, I've given up trying to be tactical as well, I just take hits to the face. Right, where's your friends? I've lost them. I've lost them. I don't know where they've gone. If they ran off down the path, maybe that's where they've gone. I have no idea where they are at all. I just had a quick look around, can't find them anywhere. They better not be going to the actual village. If they go to the actual village, they're probably going to murder half the villagers. Well, they're not at the village either. I have no idea where those guys are gone. If they turn up, I'm going to kill them. Just heading through the woods where they were nearby. I've just heard a spider. Sure, that's not a problem. Um, Yeah, we've just found one of these, which I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Do you need... Is it, is it silk touch? Is that what you need for this? Or can I do it with shears? Is it shears? I don't, I don't have either of these things on me. But that's very close to home. So we might come over and grab this. Whether that's a good idea or not, I don't know. I also have no idea what I will do with honey. I just know it's used for things like redstone, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, yes. We have sea cucumbers. And also one block of coral. Basically, Wandering Trader came around. He was selling sea cucumbers. I've never owned sea cucumbers in this game before or coral for that matter so I decided to buy them I did a quick google and someone said I don't know who but they said put it onto the coral and then bone meal it and you get four sea cucumbers so that's why I bought one block of coral so now in theory we can make infinite sea cucumbers I'm guessing they're mainly used for decoration but I just kind of wanted it okay they also had green dye so I bought green dye and stuck it on this sheep here so now we're actually going to be get going to be able to have ourselves some green wool as well if we need it. Also got a blue sheep, purple sheep and a yellow sheep as well. Right, what I'm going to do next then, I'm going to work on these four, maybe, maybe three, might not touch that one. I'm going to work on all of these buildings and all of these farms and then when we return in a moment, which for me will probably be a couple of days, but when we return there will be a nice little village looking place going on. That's the plan. After many, many hours, I have finished the first five buildings externally. The interior on most of them isn't quite done yet, but they're mostly done. So what we're going to do, we're going to run over there now. I've pressed F1, and as you can see, it kind of looks like a little bit of a village. So we've got the first house here, which obviously I haven't changed anything towards it. I think I've probably put that little flower pot down. But yeah, that's the first house, and then we head over. I've got a little cart here. I don't know whether it works or not, but there's a little cart in there, which I've done. 
put some obviously some growth has gone on a little bit of a pathway then we move to the next place which is the sugarcane place and as you can tell with the old uh, item frame on the front door that's how you know what it is this room is kind of done there's a bed in there and a little flower pot but that's it we head down the stairs head outside into the sugarcane farm which i have intentionally put lily pads everywhere so you can just run straight across this and easily farm everything in here We've still obviously got the little pathway through into next door as well. As you've probably noticed, there's no villagers about yet. I've not managed to do any of that. But that will be happening probably in between episodes. Also, a little flower pot there, because why not? Heading back out of this one then, make sure you shut the door behind you. We move over to the next building, which is literally just that. It is just a building. There is no purpose other than a bed. This will just be a villager's house for the time being. I might end up putting something in there like a grindstone or something so they have a job if we do get a villager living in there but for now just a house. Next up is the beetroot house. This one is slightly different than everything else. Everything else has like the uh, the dark oak roof. This has a spruce roof and normal oak walls so it's it's kind of different. Again internally not a lot going on but externally it's it's probably the biggest of the houses. I don't really know why it's the biggest, but yeah, it's probably the biggest of the houses. It's got a nice little bend in it there. And then, as you can see here, we have the little growing area where we've got a decent amount of, uh, of beetroot. I know you said rhubarb, it's not rhubarb, it's beetroot. Decent amount of beetroot growing. And then up to the path, leads you back inside. We've got that down there, which I don't know. Do I put something here? Maybe we put something there just to stop things wandering down there. Got a bit of growing going on as well in here. And then if we head back out, this is the way I get out of that place because it's quicker than going through the door. Then down the path, we come to the melon house. Now, I like this. I really like this because it's it's like a nice little pathway down to this house. I might need to do something on top of the roof because the roof is very plain at the moment. So I might put like a, a little uh, window or something along the top there. But for now, this is what we've got. We come down here. We've got trap doors for... Uh, for a fence which i think looks quite nice i've, I've ruined it i've ruined it because i can't see the middle of the screen i've ruined it right yeah so we come inside and as always it's not really done there's just a bed in there then we come out the back door you can't get that way there is a fence behind it as well and obviously you can jump over if you really want but we're not going to be doing that and then we come out to the farm which is pretty big and i've done something similar to what i've done with the carrot and potato farm where i've got water it's just hidden. It's just hidden underneath these. So everything is watered. And I didn't want to go nuts with these. I didn't want to just have the entire place filled. But once everything is grown, there will still be a reasonable amount. And then obviously I've grown with bone mill. Just some uh, some additional grass going on. And we have a tree here. Because without that, it looked very, very empty. We're not quite done. We've also got a little seating area. Um, don't really know the purpose of it. Because basically what you do, you'd sit down. And you just overlook the uh, sugar cane farm. But it's a little seating area. This probably will change a little bit as time goes on. I might add some more things. I'm not quite sure. Wanted to grow a tree there. Put the sapling down. Used two stacks of bone meal. Nothing grew. So we've just got some leaves instead. So it kind of just looks like a little bit of a hedge going on. We've also got ourselves a nice little uh, flower pot thing there. Little grower. And uh, this building's gone. I've got rid of it. Nothing's replaced it just yet. But I've got rid of it. I'm starting to think that this building and this farm, or these farms in particular, probably don't live here. Because this is starting to turn into a little village. That is more of like a, a cheaty game mechanic. Which means I might end up building that downstairs in the cave. I've got some plans inside the cave to build like some little a villager trading hall kind of place where I just basically have villagers in captivity that have good trades. And then up here we just have fancy villagers who wander around and do whatever they want to do. So yeah, that's kind of it. There's still some more ideas that I've got going on in my head. I want to use this area here potentially as like a little fishing pond. So I might build myself another small house, like a one similar to that size over here. Might be a bit close to the main building. Maybe you just build it off of the main building. So it's just like a little outhouse. Um, and yeah, that would be like a fisherman's hut potentially. Then we're going to bone mill around here just to make everything look a little bit more natural. I want to look at getting potentially the textures you know the the connecting textures because right now the path looks a little bit weird the path looks a little bit strange where you just got the the straight lines between the grass and the coarse dirt and the gravel and things like that the connected textures make it look a little bit nicer and a little bit more like flowing so i'm looking at trying to get that but i'm not quite sure how to do it also not saying that i want to use them 
but I want to see what it looks like with a decent shader pack, because I think with a shader pack and the connected textures, this would look a lot better than what it does now, and I don't think it looks particularly bad at the moment. So yeah, this is what I have built then for my start a little uh, village thing. I'm still not quite sure. That, to be honest, this area that we have here, I'm thinking will probably all turn into a nice, nice little village. We're going to have people living in here. This big building, the more I think about it, because of the size difference between that and the small buildings, this might become more of a warehouse slash living house, which means this building that we built probably what, five episodes ago, something like that, might be repurposed, might be remodeled once again into something slightly different. I'm thinking, potentially all over this area, I'm going to have paths and houses and all sorts of various things. I'm currently flying about in spectator mode, that's why I'm, I'm really quick and I'm floating. Um, but yeah, just to try and make this look a little, little bit more like a living area. You can see as well, I've got rid of all the farms here, all the chests have gone, I've done a bit more terraforming. Next up, that I'm going to be doing off camera is sorting that out probably might move the wheat field to over here basically to where we have our uh, sheep cow and pig farm but i'm not quite sure but that will be definitely done off camera so that is gonna do it then for this episode this has taken me quite a while to do because there's a lot that has gone on as you can see with all the buildings behind me what we're gonna do next episode i'm not quite sure probably gonna look at doing something with the farm at the back I don't really have any plans. What will probably happen when you come back, I might have knocked down the farm at the back, built myself a decent farmhouse. I want to put in some paths and roads around here, just to get an idea of the space that we have. And then I might just populate it with lots of little buildings that don't necessarily have a purpose at the moment. But I might look at doing all of that off camera. So when you come back, this area around me might just be filled with lots of buildings. I don't know. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back next time with more Minecraft. Wave my tree. Wave the tree.